that up. Labor Day thing was on. In Benton. Well, first I was at the one in Dickeyville, their Labor Day picnic. But I'm in Hazel Green right now. And this is a video here about James Percival. He lived here in town, and right over there is the house he lived in. I'm not going to spend too much time over like at this house here because you know I don't know if somebody's living here or not just to be on the safe side you know I don't want to I just want to be filming it too much I just want to show you it quick but we're going to walk over to his grave here and just one last look at his house there How I know that is all because my great uncle that lives here in Hazel Green, he told me that. That's where James Percival lived when he lived here in town. And that's actually the oldest house in Hazel Green, believe it or not. The oldest house. And now we're walking over to the cemetery where it's the final resting place of, um, James Percival's grave. And you can see there's the hazel green water tower. I actually went to school here in this town at Southwestern School. Played football and I played one year of baseball. I was in Leo Club my senior year and what have you. Had a lot of friends, you know. Yeah. I was kind of the popular kid, one of the popular kids, but. But I'm not real, but I was kind of somewhat in the middle, you know. And you see here's Hazel Green's Main Street here. Here's you have a flea market here in like I think they have one in May and they have one in October, one that's coming up, a Freedom Flea Market, which I plan on coming to. Uh, just being here in this town, it just, just brings back lots of memories. It really does for me. Of course, if you were to look at Southwestern, you know, the school I went to school at, you know, it's, it's really not the same as from when I went to school there. It really wasn't. I graduated in 2016, and I think a year or two after I graduated, they started renovating the place, doing a complete overhaul with it. And over there used to be the hospital here in town. Once again, there's a look at the water tower, standing tall. <laughs> I mean, this isn't the video here of filming water towers or anything. <laughs> I mean, if I was gonna film a water tower, I would have filled one over in Benton because theirs is an old stone one. That'll probably be for a different video though. Never thought to film that. But I'm gonna take you to the grave of um, James Percival. You know, he was an author and he lived here in Hazel Green and there's a street called Percival Street in town which is named after him and he was born in Connecticut actually and he actually died here I mean I really don't know too much about him I'm just just giving you an overview of what it's really like what James Percival was all about. Of course, I showed you his house. I mean, I didn't want to show you it too much or anything. I kind of just wanted to glance just whatever at it because I just didn't want to, because there might be somebody living there and I just didn't want to, you know. I mean, I, I just don't want to be crossing any lines or really asking for any trouble or anything. 
So I just showed it to you quick and then I just kind of went forth, you know. But here's the grave site here. Here's the grave site. His tombstone here. James Gate Percival, born in Berlin, Connecticut, September 15, 1795, graduated from Yale. He was a state geologist to Connecticut, 1835 to 1842, state geologist of Wisconsin, 1854 till his death in 1856. It says died in Hazel Green, Wisconsin, May 2nd, 1856. So he was only 61. Eminent as a poet, rarely accomplished as a lineagist. Learn and acute in science, a man without gu guile or what have you. I know, sorry if I can't read the words correctly. walk around of his grave here thing of it is you know I asked some of my friends here in Hazel Green where he was buried they knew he was buried over here somewhere but they said you go by a fenced area there and he's right next to it at first I was looking in the fenced in area trying to find him, but I think that's a family plot there. But it turns out he's right here next to the fenced in area. Yeah. I mean, if you do come here, even if you come here to Hazel Green, please be respectful. I mean, this is still a full town with a lot of people living here about 1200 people live live here in town in this town here and so please be respectful and once again the reason why I really didn't show you is too much of James Percival's house there was because because I'm just afraid somebody's probably living there and I just didn't want to expose their um, privacy or anything so that's kind of why I um, kind of just showed you a glance at his house a couple times and I didn't, wasn't really showing you it too much. But anyway, this is the plus happy Labor Day, everybody. But I mean, this is the grave of um, James Percival. And, and we walked by his house on the way over here, so... Anyway, just going to end the video here for now. Happy Labor Day. Sign off for now.